Hey guys and welcome back to Let It Die. Today we're gonna finally, finally be reviewing a weapon that you guys have been telling me to get for such a long time. And this weapon is called the uh, the pick. It's basically the ice pick, <laughs> but it's called the murderous rake. Even though it's it's not a rake, <laughs> but anyways, it has a rake on it, I guess. Anyways, it's basically a huge pickaxe uh, modified with a, a cutlery <laughs> and a rake. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this is pretty well known as being. One of this is like an end tier type of weapon But the only reason why I didn't actually try to get it is because it's only really applicable in it seems like one aspect Which is dealing heavy damage after you charge it uh, So the main thing that this weapon is functioned around is its ability to charge up and do a stupid amount of damage uh, Like one shot anything <laughs> kind of damage uh, so we hold it down it gets blue That's already a fairly long amount of time that you need to hold it down for and then you come crashing down dealing a ton of a ton of damage. The reason why I didn't get this was because it kind of seemed weird to me to get a weapon only for one thing, which is essentially a huge charge attack. Like, I, it, basically this is known as being the Hater Slayer. Um, if the Hater doesn't have Poison Eater. Now, why does Poison Eater matter? Well, you can't really have this weapon without its counterpart, Poison. Uh, so any weapon that deals poison damage, so the, the thing is, is that you're supposed to poison an enemy, uh, they'll lean over to vomit, and that's exactly when you hold down your, your big ass attack and then come crashing down to one shot them. Uh, which is wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic even. Again, the reason why I didn't get it is because I, I felt like it was kind of weird just getting one weapon for one niche thing. Which is to be used in conjunction with poison and what happens if if the enemy has poison eater Then I'm just kind of a fish out of water. So then I chose uh, the murderous hockey stick Which kind of offers a little bit faster um, hit speed and counter ability I suppose for the just stupid damage But I was just playing with the pick just to level up his mastery so that I could get his charge um, And this this light attack is actually pretty similar to this like really similar <laughs> almost the same thing except lower um, but yeah, it's counter ability seems to be the same thing. It's except it doesn't have a follow-up Although maybe yeah, that's its follow-up. Okay um, So what I'm getting at is I'm actually out for this weapon now And the good thing about this weapon is it's not like some of the weapons we've been showcasing like this Which is like tier 6 so you're gonna have to level this thing up a ton <laughs> in order to get its good equivalent uh, yeah, this is only at four, um, and I think uh, getting it to one to two to three is going to be pretty easy. Getting it to four might be <laughs> a little bit more work. Um, but by the way, uh, you don't need a poison weapon like this, like a zombie chopper or a zombie chopper tier plus, whatever. Uh, you just need a poison type of weapon. This will work. A shitty version of this would work. Uh, we just want them to lean over, vomit, and that'll give us enough time to charge up and come crashing down. Um, now, we are also going to be testing this weapon against bosses. I'm not going to be getting creative um, and going for... Uh, Cohen, we're just gonna be getting Gato uh, because I'm uh, a bit limited on time now. I might have to stream in like 20 minutes, <laughs> so not 20 minutes. We gotta find like 40 minutes because I'm always late to the streams. Don't worry about it; <laughs> it's fine. But guys, we do always have have some time for for just some wonderful yoga. Look at that. What? I don't. I don't know exactly what that is. I can't remember the last time I used this shroom to be honest with you guys. But look at that. Look at that form. Look at that. These legs are even kind of wobbling. So you know he's actually working out. It's not just like a shitty template. He's doing it, guys. We're getting a ton of mastery. We're getting a t not not mastery. We're getting a ton of rage. You know, in in this mode, uh, we really get pissed because <laughs> we're getting so much fucking rage as well as health. And there we go, guys. We can always always eat some good old yoga <laughs> yoga in our lives. Also, as always, you guys have been dropping me these weapons. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, but yeah. Again, the reason why I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this is one. I was already trying to get one thing at the time, and I didn't want to stop getting that, which was the murderous hockey stick, and then get this. Um, also, it seemed very situational. Um, like, again, you, in order to make it worth it, you had to charge up, which I don't think is true, because that light attack to the side is like 90 damage. Like, it may not be the 100,000 that this thing can deal or whatever, but it's still pretty good. It's almost the same as my hockey stick's heavy smash, um, and that can be combo chained into a heavy smash. So, yeah. Uh, w the future is looking good, Murderous Hockey Stick. I'll be trying to get you, I think. Well, we'll see. Maybe this video is proof that we shouldn't, although I think it's not. <laughs> I don't believe the community is that awful <laughs> when it comes to when it's good. I say mostly because the Bowling Crusher I never heard much about, and it's fucking, it seemed real good. Alright, so the Wombo Combo is a poison. Switch to the weapon. Uh, then, you hold just a smash down. Now, I have not seen a significant amount of people use the Zombie Chopper 
probably because of what I just seen, <laughs> which is this. Um, if we go like this, wallop, we switch. It takes a long time to get back to our other weapon. So I did hit the button, but it didn't happen. Switch to the, there we go. And then finally we can attack. Well, <laughs> do I have, <laughs> I can, let's just grab something that's quick. I have the claws. Claws do seem like they're the only weapon that does decent damage or like does, it's the only fast poison weapon. Well, the bat's pretty good. I mostly see people use the bat in conjunction with this weapon. The poison bat, wallop, and then switch to that, which makes sense because the poison bat is like super fast. Also, it gains the point. The bat's already a good weapon, <laughs> so there's that. Also, it's stats <laughs> and everything like that. So it does 3,000 damage on a base level that is more, uh, significantly more than my hockey stick. Feels bad. <laughs> anyways, anyways, um, it's all sharpness. So if an enemy is uh like. A gains an advantage of sharpness it's gonna be bad although if you charge up your attack it doesn't matter <laughs> but anyways it's durability 171 its guard is s of course and its stamina is c uh, i haven't noticed it eats away its stamina so that's weird and its rage move is uh cost one but it also it says piercing throw stab the enemy in the abdomen and throw them huh that sounds fun. <laughs> Let's try that out. Oh, I'm not gonna. I need to get more money. <laughs> We're gonna be farming money on stream, aka doing the TDM. Doing the T. Oh shit! I need to make a video about that. Right. It's basically just like how to make money in year two or 2018. It's fucking. It's the TDM. I'm telling you right now. Just do the TDM. Ah, I feel sweaty. <laughs> I feel great right now. Totally not warm. <laughs> really hot. Uh. Okay. So for Gato, Gato cannot be poisoned. At least not in the same way a hater can. So uh, we're just gonna be hitting him with this attack and. I don't think we'll have enough time to charge up, although maybe, given the right attack, like if he's vomiting up a creature, then maybe. But let's just try the light attack first. Oh, I thought I was out of range, apparently not. Missed, lovely. Okay, yep, 9,000, and he's, uh, well, I think Gato is actually fine with sharp. I must have, yeah, I think he has a resistance to it. Bam! 13,000 on a critical, and I think he has uh, defense to sharpen, <laughs> so there's that. Sweet! Man, I have, <laughs> just because we've been making these videos, I think I'm gonna try to make the uh, the TDM knight armor, because it looks awesome at its end tier. It's like covered in gold, you have a fucking cape, <laughs> it's wild. But that did great, two hits, bang bang, super fast. We should've done a follow up now that I think about it, we should've went like this, and then did our, our R1. And BR2, sorry, <laughs> R2 attack. Um, it's, it's heavy attack is actually interesting. Um, it's heavy attack, I believe, is a blind, which is this. But, it takes a significant amount of prep to do that, and it's, I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I don't think it's worth messing with, you know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm a not. <laughs> I'm a not, well we should probably try to use it, because we are trying to showcase the weapon. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say that it, the rage move does not work on bosses. <laughs> we'll try it, I guess. So, so far, the weapons that I'm thinking about getting, that kind of just play into my build, is the gun this and that's kind of the loadout <laughs> and the bowling crusher but i'm not sure about the bowling crusher though because it seems like it's a lot <laughs> to get yeah on a unrelated note i uh you got most of you guys don't care uh recently i've been on like a bad kick for tv shows slash anime <laughs> um every tv show i've started watching i'm just like this is bad <laughs> it's not really well done and i just can't get a good one and finally this morning i started watching Oh, Jesus Christ. Mean editing. Bungo Stray Dogs. Awesome. <laughs> I, it was like something Stray Dogs. It's an anime. It's good. It's, it's like exactly what I was hoping it would be. Uh, which is great. Because <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it thus far. I've only, I'm only two episodes in. So it could get real bad. <laughs> but right now I'm enjoying it. Uh, okay, so let's... We've already seen what the light attack can do. Let's try to get the heavy attack. Even though this Gato doesn't really fuck around like the other one does. Hmm. Then again, two light attacks knocked him dead. <laughs> I think we're okay. So first, let's try to blind him, even though I'm pretty sure that doesn't work on bosses, but hey. Why not? Oh, of course you moved at the last minute. That takes a long spin up, guys. Yeah, that 20-some damage. Killing it. Oh, what? What the hell? You That, was, that sucks. Again, you're not, what happened? I don't understand why it's saying like, I'm getting fucking wrecked. There is that, I did charge it up a little bit, not enough. Oh, come on, no, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. 
Yes! Okay, we did 16,000. What? We're supposed... He's dead. <laughs> Is it capped at, like, his health that he had left? Guys, I promise. <laughs> I was not lied to. This is strong. I mean, I, I can say, uh... In that entire fight, I never felt weak. <laughs> I never felt like my attacks weren't wrecking, but... Well, actually, this one was pretty awful, but that's to be expected. It's supposed to be a stun so that you can charge up and come crashing down. Ooh, the, the thing I already have that I don't want because it looks ugly at its end tier. <laughs> yeah. Also, now we are a shirtless sexual deviant. Why is that the case? Looking like this? I, you, he just is. All right, oh, we're not trying to free the nipple here, okay? <laughs> oh, we didn't try the, the rage move. Then again, I don't think it, like, it's... Are we gonna literally pick up Gato? Or, is our, or do we have that much strength <laughs> just to pick up Gato and throw him across the room? Doubt. Uh, yeah, let's go up to the 27th floor. Might as well. Uh, no, 26. 26th floor. Because I need, I need steel for a bunch of stuff. I also need some sort of chemical shit that's like rare as hell. All right, so uh, my next goal is to try to sync up that, that stun ability. Also, is there lights? There's literally, okay, Christmas lights on our, <laughs> okay. Why did I not expect this? <laughs> Shit. Obviously, <laughs> there'd be that. This is not what I want. Enemies are gonna spawn there. Oh, oh wow, you actually have zero, you complete that, that attack. Oh, don't kick me off. Oh no! <laughs> that sucks, I, I'm not paying for shit. Bullshit. Bullshit. I knew it. I seen it happening and I couldn't stop it. Yeah, thank you. Love that. Can I just... Am I... How is this gonna happen? Oh, yay. Oh, yay. What I was trying to say before I was horribly interrupted. Oh, look at that thumbnail! Boom! Thumbnail! <laughs> Sorry. Um, what I was trying to say... What, we don't need mineral oil. That's not what I was trying to say. What I was trying to say is that it see that the person hit me with his saber and it didn't cancel out this, which is actually very, very good considering that that's an unblockable attack. Yeah, <laughs> hell yes. Is this worth looting? Anything up here? There's some materials down there. There is the yoga shroom. Hell yeah. Nope. Oil and oh steel. Maybe steel. Maybe it is steel. Nice shit. But uh, you know, even though we got wrecked, <laughs> uh, it still did fantastic. It still did really good. I'm not sure if his his attack was an unblockable though. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure. Maybe that was just me. Uh, but yeah, let's go to 26. And after this, uh, or 20. Is it 25? No, it's no, it's 36. There we go. I was wrong place entirely. Um, after this, after we go ahead and farm a little bit and uh, kill some screamers, uh, then we're gonna go ahead and go down to floor nine, which is what this is supposed to be good against. This is supposed to be like the be all end all hunter weapon, uh, because of its burst damage and and all that stuff. Also, uh, yeah, uh, we haven't really got to sync up the charge move because the screamers don't get affected by poison the same way as a, a smarter AI. All right, let's do this. There we go. Give it a minute. And now he's stunned, and now we can do this. Boom! 27,000 damage. I'm, I feel like that's, it should be more. <laughs> like, I feel like the game is glitching a little bit, or something's going on. Ooh, rosewood. It's something we don't need. If it was mahogany, then maybe. Also, that's not a weapon I want to fuck with. Oh, the range on that is decent, though. Um, that, that armor he's wearing is very good against sharp, but still. I was hoping it would cut through it. It didn't. Uh-oh. I mean, that's kind of what we could fuck with. Yeah, uh, let's switch to this. No, that will kill you instantly. Ah, oh, damn it. Do I have time? Oh, this is not what we should have done. Woo! Alright, this won't fucking kill you. <laughs> We're good. Hey. Over here. Over here, up here. Come on. Oh, that really almost killed you, though. Come on! Yeah. We need to be a significantly quicker on that draw, but we did it. Or maybe it's not that it does stupid burst damage. Maybe it ignores armor, and that might be the case. Huh. So no matter what, it's doing that of st like stupid damage. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking aloud, guys, as always. Oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> why did you? Why are you not wearing skates? Shit! Calm down. <laughs> 
me and everything else. Pure copper. They probably grab pure copper. Also steel. Listen, uh, gold thing. I, I wish I needed you, but I, I don't. Uh, we need a blue equivalent of you. Also this. I remember when these used to be everywhere. Then they nerfed you to shit. <laughs> ah, you have invincibility. Sweet. We still haven't used our rage, but we definitely need to do that. Uh, it doesn't matter if we die at 4 or 9. Uh, I think we're okay. Do we- is it free buyback for floor 20 and down, was it? I don't know. I, I think that's something that they might have added. That they essentially made it so that, uh, floor 20 and down, there's no buyback? Maybe- I know. I think it was just for the Forceman. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to die and find out, so let's just say, uh. Okay, so we poison them with the- with the stuff, wait for them to vomit, hope that they don't have the one thing that is my counter. They don't. No, ah, oh, goddamn, he's not poisoned. Eh, don't, don't get my stuff. There, he's poisoned. Oh, but these people may like wreck my shit. This is not gonna reach you, is it? Oh, of course it isn't. Oh, of course it isn't. Come on, come on, come on! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Yes, 28 damage. And it doesn't look like it, it gets affected by armor, so maybe that's what it is. It's not that it does like quintillion damage or whatever. It's just that it doesn't get affected by armor. Fantastic. Oh, I do want to, again, <laughs> we have to try the damn rage move. It says we stab them in the stomach and throw them. I don't know what that damage looks like, but hopefully it's good. Fuck. <laughs> yes, she's poisoned. And she's not healing. We're in decent business. She's going to get up before I hit. Yep, of course she did. The goddamn intelligent individual. Wait! I want an easy 1v1 here. Yeah, that's right. For eight, there we go. Okay. But first of all, let's try the rage move. Okay, and they're put on the ground so you can charge up like that. That's pretty sweet. Awesome. And we got another one. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, there's a thousand ways to like, stun your enemy. One is that really obnoxious like, wait for it and then you finally impact. <laughs> wait. Can you? Let's test that real quick. I want to see if you can redirect when you're holding. If I make, I'll just show you. <laughs> but yeah, your rage move didn't doesn't seem like it takes up a lot of your durability, and it put them on their ass, so you could actually do your heavy hit, which is great. Yes, you're the one I wanted to test against. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. If I aim and lock onto you. Nope. I don't want to do that. Ah, I want to do that. <laughs> I wanted to aim this way, hit that that charge or that blind move, and then see if I can like redirect it back at them. If that's the case, then yeah, you could probably mess with that. Otherwise, I don't think you could make it line up properly. Let's do this. Nope, it doesn't work that way. Okay, okay, ow. Stop, stop locking on. Our weapon's gonna snap. Before we kill these people, let's check out if it's worth, if we're actually gonna kill this guy. Oh, it's them. Oh my god, that hurts so much. Shit. Really? Why did that do so much damage? And okay, send me to the bottom. I couldn't get, uh, couldn't get to her. <laughs> uh, well, we can see if we. I think we still have to pay for our character back. I think, I think when you're just fighting white steel, you don't have to, or the forceman, you don't have to. Which I was always under the understanding that you did. <laughs> That's why when it happened, I was like, oh shit, you have to pay. <laughs> awesome. But then again, you do. Is the thing you have to pay like a hundred thousand just to be able to get into the fight. So in a way, you do. If they were taking money on top of that, that'd be a bit ridiculous. Yeah, 7,000 to buy back your character. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I mean, you if you did sync it up properly, which would be really hard to do, uh, you could, like, wait behind an area and then come sweep up. Like, use that to blind move, but you'd, like, well, basically what we were just doing there, or hiding behind the box, waiting for her to come forward. Um, you could kind of... Because <laughs> they do always come around the corner. They're not, like... They don't go around it, so if you lined up, line it up properly, you could probably blind them. Although you need to get that timing down in order to pull that off. Okay, so there is one thing I do want to try. Uh, one thing that we haven't tried yet, and it seems to do good damage 
like overall like that like that uh, the combo of l1 l2 sorry and then r2 uh, which is like a, sl a slash to the left and then an up and down slash i think would do a good amount of damage on a base level so maybe it's good just in that regard like you don't need to milk its charge move necessarily at least i hope not so i just want to see what it does on a base level when it comes to its damage so let's switch over to the actual like the ones fairly maxed out and still has good du durability and let's see because with this many enemies around it's very rare that i'm gonna be able to actually knock him dead I'm gonna get stunned, is what I'm saying, out of it. Okay. Yeah, that's good damage on a base level. Like, yeah, that's something that I can work with better. Unless they do that. Unless he, he has to attack first. Shit. Why didn't you hit? What? How the fuck did you not get hit? You, yeah, the animation was still happening. I was, that's irritating. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm in a great mood. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh uh, man, the claws are just a fun weapon to use. But um, yeah, that, that pissed me off because he. I think I don't think he got around that. It's like a straight vertical slice. He rolled into an enemy which didn't propel him forward, but the. The game almost gave him that. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. But yeah, no, that that to me is like, you don't need to charge up. You can just do a left attack and heavy attack and you're pretty okay. Um, so it still remains a good counter weapon. You don't need to charge it up. <laughs> you go all balls to the walls. Shit. I mean, this good person's blocking at the perfect time. Oh, I can't believe I got that. Yeah, we we are unbreakable when we do that. That's amazing. Oh, okay. Let me let me get out of there. I'm trying to get my stamina back. Yeah, that that to me is the main draw of that attack. Like, why hasn't anyone mentioned that? That's perfect. The fact that no matter what, you will never that will never break. So an enemy can hit you, and you're still gonna be getting that damage. And if you have something like Blood Sucker, that's fantastic. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> to me, I ended up uh, leaving this with my own enjoyment of the weapon. Not necessarily the way it was that I was told you're supposed to use it, which again is very much like poison, poison an enemy, switch back to the weapon, hold down uh, for your charge, boom, and then come crashing down and instant kill him, of course. But to me, I oftentimes felt like it wasn't this... It's too many ducks to get in a row, it seems, for me. <laughs> for some people are like, I do it easily all the time. 100% is fine. Me, personally, I'm just like, ah. It's like a huge checklist. I mean, like, alright, check if he has poison here. He doesn't. Awesome. Uh, check if he has a ranged weapon that's gonna wreck me before I can even get to him to apply my poison. Okay, good he doesn't. <laughs> um, alright, awesome. Now I'm gonna go in there um, and try to poison him. Okay, it, sometimes it takes, like, ten hits to get poison. Like, four hits, <laughs> but still. Um, okay, great, now he's finally poisoned. And now I can finally do my charge move. Oh, wait, I'm I'm a little bit far away from him, so by the time I get to my blue, and he finally finishes vomiting, he rolls away. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> it's like, I just, I just let me hit him. <laughs> just let me hit him, man. I'd rather just hit him and dodge around him. But, but this weapon is still great for that. You guys seen that, that left click and forward hit. Um, yeah, because no matter what, this weapon makes it so that you, pl that, that they play by your rules, because you're able to put them in a stun lock, which is that first initial hit. Uh, yeah. I think that's wonderful. Also, this hit does a lot of damage. This hit does, like, that one hit does just as much as, as, uh, I think this. Maybe even this. Like, the fully committing one. And you got the bo bonus of charging, so that's lovely. Also, you got a stun, if you want, really want to, like, line that up <laughs> to a stupid degree, also... <laughs> Yikes. Anyways, guys, we look nothing like we did at the beginning of the video, but, you know, <laughs> it's a solid weapon. <laughs> the point being is, this is definitely one of the weapons I can totally see why people say is so, so infinitely good. You got a stun ability built into the weapon itself. It takes a long time <laughs> to get there. Uh, almost similar to the stun baton. Almost makes the stun baton maybe useless. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. We actually have a stun baton, which we'll review in another video, or showcase in another video. Um, anyways, yeah, you got a stun ability, you got a charge ability that does stupid damage. I'm not sure if it does good damage or if it just has a built-in thing where it uh, doesn't account for armor, basically. Uh, like it cuts through armor entirely. Maybe, or maybe it is just 
it does that damage because the armor is resisting the huge payout of damage it is, damage it is delivering. Ow. But what I do know is uh, I love its light attack and its its follow up hit. Like to me, I never really seen that, and that to me is awesome because uh, it does a good amount of damage. And this this thing right here is unbreakable. Like the, I mean, you can you'll always follow through with that. I never once got knocked uh, when hitting with it. Um, and it almost it's like a counter strike. It, it seems like that because we didn't. I don't think we got a lot of damage from the one guy. So yeah, to me that's what shines out to me is that. Uh, left and heavy attack just seems like a solid combo. Also, you shoot that out pretty quick. It's not like it takes ages to swing that. Um, and it does a ton of damage, and, and it ha again, it has the charge ability, so if you really want to do it, you can literally just wait behind a corner and then wait for someone to come by. And you do move a s significant amount, <laughs> sorry, significant amount, um, every with like a foot. Not crazy, enough to skirt the corner <laughs> if you're lucky. Uh, but still, very, very cool, and I think very, very good, and definitely would suggest getting it. Thus far, the things that are on my radar is the gun, that does like 2,000 damage per shot, obviously, <laughs> yes, that. Um, that, this, and the Bowling Crusher. Although the Bowling Crusher doesn't really fit into my build, because I don't think I could see a build with me without having a Barbarian, which is basically giving damage to two-handed weapons, um, and there's only, there's a few two-handed weapons out there. Um, apparently, the weapons that I, I have the highest expectations for, are as followed is of course the two-handed equivalent of the katana which the katana already was a good weapon and the when the game first started and this is its maxed out tier why tier six for love of god whoever gave this to me thank you <laughs> anyways um your time ah <laughs> anyways then we got this this is probably the one i have the highest expectations for because not only is it two-handed um but i I, re I distinctly remember the spear being amazing like amazing amazing both in utility and damage um so yeah got high hopes for that i'm hoping it's pretty good although it is also tier six so yeah oh also the one that i'm mo the most excited to review <laughs> or showcase <laughs> damn it showcase is this uh, this one over here the chainsaw sh shark <laughs> um and yeah it's a two-handed scythe looking thing it looks amazing if one of the chainsaws was the other way it'd be straight out of resident dead rising <laughs> sorry dead rising Anyways, guys, I've been talking enough. Thank you so much for giving me a single second of your time. Subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. This concludes our play session. Hopefully, you guys have the best of days, and goodbye.